In these videos, I'm actually going to show you how I created this website. I was a graphic designer for a number of years, and I've always had to use programmers to build out my websites because I never wanted to learn any HTML or CSS. I never even wanted to mess with it. Well, then a friend of mine introduced me to SiteGrinder. So in this first video, I'm actually going to show you some websites I've created myself from start to finish using SiteGrinder. I'm also going to talk about what you need to know in order to use SiteGrinder. And I've put all these videos together just to help make you successful because SiteGrinder has helped me out tremendously in creating all of these different websites. Let me scan through just a few of them that I've made over the last few months. I've created all these different templates really so people could just get up and running as quickly as possible and not have to know a whole lot of stuff actually about SiteGrinder. So let's go over to Photoshop. What SiteGrinder is, is it's a Photoshop plugin. Really the only thing you need to know in order to make SiteGrinder work is just how to use your layers here in Photoshop. Once I've built out all of my pages here in Photoshop, all I do is create a layer comp from each of those pages. Because SiteGrinder is going to take each of my layer comps and it's going to generate an HTML page from my layer comps. So if I just scroll through these real quickly, you can see that really all this is is just a snapshot of each of my different pages. All I had to do was just give each of my layers a different hint, tell SiteGrinder what I want it to do basically, and, and I was ready to go. So in all of these different videos, I hope to run through um, just about everything you would need to know to build a website yourself from start to finish. Once we've built out our website and we've hinted up all of our layers, we're actually ready to deploy it. So we'll just go to File, Automate, and choose SiteGrinder 3. There's kind of three phases the way I see SiteGrinder. The first phase would be obviously everything in the Photoshop design. Once you have everything looking the way that you want and you've hinted out your layers, we're ready to deploy it and go to the design manager. So that's kind of the next step and where we're going. So you can see here in just a, about 30 seconds or so, it has scanned my entire Photoshop document. It says we're ready to go so we can actually build and deploy this website. So this is going to take us to what I kind of consider to be step two, and this is the design manager. Let me just go over to one that I've already built out just to show you exactly what it looks like. In this phase, I kind of see the design manager is really just to see how the things look and manage the CSS. Uh, again, you don't have to know any code in order to make SiteGrinder work. It's kind of all pretty autonomous for us right here. We just change uh, simple things like how we want this animation to work. So for example, if I open up any of these things, you can see that it just gives me drop downs so I can change a lot of the different ways that things behave and look here. Just go through, we can do things like even change how our uh, contact form looks. So just by clicking on the contact.html, I'll get this form appearance. We can open this up real quickly. And we can change so many different things, uh, just even about the contact form. So again, the way I see the design manager is really just kind of how things look. Um, we'll upload all these images and stuff once we get into the content manager. And so the content manager is really the next phase. So again, I'll just scan my whole document and make sure really everything works. Make sure that the text that I want is selectable. My edit button is down here. I have a uh, hover show that I created here. And so we can actually customize this to do whatever we want. But I've included it in this training just to show you how hover shows work. My buttons seem to be working just fine. All my headlines. And so once we're done and we're ready to move on to the content manager, we'll go back to Photoshop. And then this is where we actually will just deploy our website. We can set up a new site and it's just going to save all of those files so wherever we want to on our computer. And then it's going to bring us here to the content manager. This is the third and final process. So this is where we will upload images and stuff like that. And I'll just show you real quickly. All these different uh, layer names here are 
everything that I've labeled in my layers in my Photoshop. So I, I labeled this first picture box here, my main one, and I gave it the picture box hint. So let's just edit this and I'll show you. We can upload new images right here. We can uh, drag and drop these into a different order. Same thing, I did two different picture boxes here on this particular website. And you can see that down here I even added basically a third gallery and it works and functions differently. So that if we actually click on one of those images, it'll bring it up into a bigger box. We can go through our whole design here, make sure everything looks okay. And let me go to the events page here just to show you. I can select these boxes here and we can actually edit all this text right here online. This comes in real handy, especially if you have the Site Grinder Control add-on because, again, by just creating a little um, login button for yourself or if you've made a website for a client, you can be anywhere as long as you have an internet connection and you can actually change out your photos and change all of your text uh, from anywhere. Let's just look at our other pages. That is, uh, this content manager is actually also the place where we start linking up all of our buttons and everything. So for example, if I go to the button links tab here and we can drag this up. I can actually drag this over so we can get a better view of this. This is where we can define how we link up our uh, all of our different buttons. So we can choose it for it to go to a different page. We can link it to a file so we can upload a file, make it go to a whole different website. Uh, or even like an email. It's pretty simple. Another cool feature of the content manager is that we can go to file and choose to create a new page. So instead of creating 50 pages in your Photoshop design, you can create them all right here in the content manager. We just choose which page designed that we want to base the new page off of. So the way I kind of see my Photoshop layers, uh, or at least my layer comps, is I see those as page templates. So we can just create multiple pages right here on the go within the content manager. Once we're done making all of our changes and edits, it's time to just upload it to our host. By just simply going to upload, we choose our connection settings and right here we can just fill all this out and just upload or download any of the new changes. So if it's the first time we just upload everything or once we make changes we'll just choose the upload and download changes. And it's really that simple. So join me in all these videos. In about an hour, you'll have a great understanding of SiteGrinder, and you'll be able to start creating your own websites just like I've been doing. So join me, and uh, let's get started.